Trade rumors surrounding Saquon Barkley are heating up, and according to Ryan Leaf, Jim Harbaugh wants to sign or trade for Saquon Barkley and make him a new member of the Los Angeles Chargers. We're going to break that down on today's show, but first I got to make sure everybody watching Giants now is subscribed right now because we put out free, informative, entertaining, passion-driven content 24-7 for free, and we're on our way to 43,000 subscribers. If you're looking for a one-stop shop all off-season long to keep you up to date with everything Big Blue, subscribe to the channel right now. What's going on, everybody? You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for rocking and rolling with us as we get you caught up with everything surrounding the Giants. Ryan Leaf, former number two overall pick at the quarterback position in the 1998 NFL Draft, most notably known for really being a bust and having Peyton Manning going number one overall over him, hopped on Good Morning Football, and he reported that Jim Harbaugh wants to sign Saquon Barkley, and really that Harbaugh has Barkley at the top of his list when it comes to players that he wants to add to this football team. And you know that Jim Harbaugh is going to want to run the football. He's done it at every stop in his career. We know what he did at Stanford. We know what he did with the 49ers, and we know why the Michigan Wolverines won the national championship this year. It was because of the way that he ran the football. But we also know that it, how important culture and family and fit is to Harbaugh. We saw it when he went to Michigan, and when he already told you that he wants to make a family-like atmosphere with the Chargers, and if I was trying to fix a culture or remake a culture or cultivate a new culture, Saquon Barkley would be one of the very few running backs I would want on my team and one of the very few players that I would want on my team because I know this. He is a leader, he's a captain, and he is really a changer of a feeling inside a building. He can take Chargers fans from non-believers to believers, and that is a big reason why Harbaugh wants to add. And this is what Ryan Leaf said, though, on Good Morning Football. Quote, Austin Eckler's a big part of what it could be with them, talking about the Chargers, running the football, but I do think that Saquon Barkley is going to be at the top of Harbaugh's list in terms of what he wants to do with the running back position with him being a free agent. I think they could franchise tag him again. I know that's a lot of money, but, but it's something I know that Jim Harbaugh wants to do. He wants to run the football, and he wants to use those guys down the field with play action. A lot of the reasons that I just said is why I feel this way. Saquon Barkley feels like a Harbaugh guy. We know that he's gone from multiple spots and had multiple great running backs, and he still believes in kind of that old school mentality, which I still believe in as well, that you win the game at the line of scrimmage, and if you could dominate a team in a run game and they can't stop the run, you're going to win a lot of football games. And Barkley would be a great fit for the Chargers. Thing is, it would be dumb to let Saquon Barkley enter free agency. I know it sounds wrong, but the Giants have the option to really control the immediate future of Saquon Barkley. They don't have to let him hit the open market. They don't have to let him be a free agent. They have the franchise tag, and that can prohibit them, or prohibit Saquon Barkley from really talking to any other team in the National Football League and finding out what his value is across the league. The Giants cannot afford to lose Barkley for nothing, and the only way that would happen is if you let him hit free agency. And Joe Shane is too smart. I don't think that will happen. And another reason, Saquon's a great football player. We know what he does on the football field. We know any time that he touches the ball, he's a threat to go the distance. And he still flashed some of that same home run hitting ability at the running back position this past year for the Giants. Had six touchdowns on the ground, had a couple others on the through the air. He flashed. I mean, he had 10 touchdowns in 2022. He's a great player. And Joe Shane has to answer this question. Do I want... Saquon Barkley on the Giants not how much money not if it's a three or four year deal just strictly down to football Joe Shane do you want Saquon Barkley to be a member of this organization for the immediate future if the answer is yes you have to do whatever it takes to get it done you'll figure it out if the answer is no if you're like all right we're done we're moving on from Barkley I don't want him on this team Maybe that's because of what he said, whether what you've said, he wants too much, whatever the X, Y, Z reason may be. If it comes to the point that he's no longer a part of this franchise's future, you must tag and trade him. You cannot lose him for nothing. 
That's what the franchise tag is there for, to help a franchise hold on to a really good player or have the ability to exchange him in a trade for value. Question is, what is Saquon Barkley's trade value? We're going to try to unpack that coming up around the corner. We're going to take a look at some past running back trades that have gone down in the NFL, and we'll try to figure out what a trade value would be for Barkley. And we've got a trade idea that features Barkley going from the Giants to the Chargers, and I want to get your guys' take on it. But first, so stick around. But first, check out our proud sponsor, Game Time. Game Time is the best ticketing app in the game. Go download it in the App Store. And if you use the promo code GIANTSCHAT, you're going to get $20 off your first purchase. What I love about Game Time is you get the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed, and prices drop as the events get closer. Also, Game Time has an awesome special running right, uh, running right now. You can get $100 off the big game, which is a week from Sunday, if you use the promo code VEGAS100. So download the Game Time app and get $100 off the big game with the promo code VEGAS100. Check them out. Best seats, lowest price guaranteed. Prices drop as the events get closer. I've used it to buy mix tickets. I've used it to buy concert tickets. It's the best app in the game. Check them out. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description. So I thought a good start, uh, a good spot to start when talking about what a potential Saquon Barkley trade could look at, uh, look like is looking back at the 2022 deal that had Christian McCaffrey going from the Carolina Panthers to the San Francisco 49ers. And I'm going to be honest, I think Christian McCaffrey is a better running back than Saquon Barkley. But at this time in 2022, McCaffrey was known as kind of an injury-prone running back. And he honestly, in my opinion, showed his talents better in San Francisco. So maybe the recency bias makes me believe that uh, McCaffrey is worth way more than Saquon Barkley. But it costed Carolina, or Carolina got back a second-round pick, a third-round pick, a fourth-round pick, and a fifth-round pick. I don't think that Barkley would fetch that for the New York Giants. I think it would be close, and I think it could look something like this. And before you yell at me, understand. Why are the Chargers going to give up a first or a second round pick for a 27-year-old running back that's coming off another ankle injury and is going to want a long-term contract extension? No matter what the position is, if you're going to need an extension, usually that drives the price of the trade down. But this could maybe get you a third round pick this year, pick 69. That's a priority pick. And then in the sixth round, get pick 182. I want to ask you guys this question. Would you make this trade if you knew that Saquon Barkley was not going to be back with the Giants. He told you he didn't want to be here. You voiced, if you're the Giants, you're not going to re-sign him. And you've come to the conclusion that you're going to trade him and get something back. Would this be enough? Type A for accept, type D for decline. And, and look, if it gets to this point where you've told Saquon you don't want him here, Saquon has told you he doesn't want to be here, there's not a number or a contract year length that you can come to an agreement on, can you really say no to a deal like this. Obviously, I would hope that you can get more than a third of a six-round pick for Barkley. I'd be hoping for a second-round pick. And I think if this is the only thing on the table, I would, you know, swallow my pride a little bit and maybe pay him the extra million or $2 million that it would take because I'd rather just keep him because I think that he could help this team more now and probably in the next two to three years, potentially on a risky third-round pick or a six-round pick. You're not finding a Saquon Barkley in the third round. You're not finding a Saquon Barkley in the sixth round. And I do believe at the end of the day that there is a deal to be made that would keep Saquon Barkley a member of this organization for the foreseeable future. We've gone down this road. You've heard me say it. Saquon Barkley wants to be a giant for life. And I'm not just saying it. He said it on numerous occasions. He said it time and time again. He wants to be in the likes, in the class of a guy like Eli Manning and Michael Strahan and other giants that have been once a giant, always a giant, and only a giant. The thing is, when you have a great relationship like that, when you have two people that are trying to come together on an agreement or a disagreement, it sometimes takes sacrificing. And maybe Saquon Barkley has to sacrifice if he really wants to be a giant. And maybe the Giants will have to sacrifice a little bit more on the contract if they want him to be here. I think there's an avenue where a deal could get done. But I thought that last year. Maybe this year they will. Maybe this year they won't. I do know this. We'll keep you up to date on everything surrounding this football team 
if something does happen. That's why you subscribe. And really, the next man up, if Barkley were to be gone, whether it's a trade or whatever it may be, Eric Gray, your fifth-round pick last year out of Oklahoma, would be the first guy up. Maybe you want to look to free agency if Barkley leaves. I probably would not do that. I would look towards the NFL draft because I don't like paying for a rec- I don't like buying a used car all that much. And that's kind of what you're doing with a guy like Josh Jacobs and Derrick Henry and a lot of tread on the tires with Austin Eckler. And I sure like got younger guys like Zach Moss, who has played time uh, with the uh, played with Brian Dable in Buffalo and Devin Singletary as well. But I'm not paying a whole lot of money for Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Tony Pollard or Austin Eckler, Swift, Singletary, Dylan, or Moss, one or two-year deals, relatively cheap, sure, but I'd rather just go to the route to the NFL draft. Make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter, at MarshallGreen underscore, and on Instagram, at MarshallGreen underscore. I'm trying to up my social media game, and I need your help. Give me a follow, and let's go Big Blue.